Okay, I'm going to show you two techniques actually for simplifying this. Remember here, what's slowing us down, and this is what you have to kind of keep in mind, is this right here. This is being added, so there are no rules for the addition of exponents. So we can't do anything here. There's no, nothing we can do here. So first thing I'm going to look at is this piece up here. And I'm going to rewrite this, and I just want to know if you can see this. I'm going to think of this piece right here as a factor, so it's really 1 times this. So I'm going to rewrite this, and I'm going to write 2 to the negative first power times 1. That's this one over all this stuff that I started with, which was 2 to the negative second plus 2 to the negative third, right? And all I'm asking you to do is buy this with me. Remember that if we have a to the negative n, what we really have is 1 over a to the positive n. We know that negative exponents cause fractions. Negative exponents do not cause negative numbers. So what I really have is 1 over 2 to the first power. Now all I'm going to do is distribute to here and to here. So what does that look like? Well, that looks, ooh, let's go back. That looks like this, right? This 1 times this 1 is 1. 2 time, two to the first times 2 to the negative 1 is 2 to the negative 1. All right, so now we have this times this, which is plus 2 to the negative 2. Now I'm going to deal with this as if it was a complex fraction. So we have 1 over, look, we already talked about 2 to the negative 1 is actually 1 half. So this 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half. This plus sign is this one. And 2 to the negative 2 is 1 over 2 squared. And 2 squared, of course, is 4. Looking for a common denominator between 2 and 4, which would be 4. And this would be 2 fourths, wouldn't it? So this one is this one. 2 fourths plus 1 fourth is 3 fourths, isn't it? And we have a complex fraction, and this thing comes up as the denominator, so it's equal to 4 thirds, all right? Now, this is what I really want to show you. But there's another way to do this, and the reason I have this in the denominator, the reason that I have this thing raised to this yellow power is because I want you to see this. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 2 to the third power over 2 to the third power, which, of course, I'm just multiplying by 1, right? So 2 to the third power over 2 to the third power. Right? We multiply this, we're going to get 2 squared, so 2 squared. When we distribute this to this, look what we're going to get here. We distribute this to this, we're going to get, and then this to this, look what we get here. We get, we get 2 to the first power plus 2 to the 0 power, 2 to the second power is 4. 2 to the first power is 2, 2 to the 0 power is 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, same answer. All right? This is a really cool way to do these kind of problems. So uh, I hope this was helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do.